Hi and welcome back to Larand Gaming and if you are new to the channel, welcome! Hi, I am Larand and yes, it's been an update today, it's the enemies of the deep and we got the new <laughs> fish index items from Timeless Tides and uh, currently we have two index rewards and we're gonna take a closer look at the first one, the one in Smuggler's Bay. Look like this, if you go into the fish index and you sort on Timeless Tides, you have Smuggler's Bay. Now for the first time you have Mutation Boost. We didn't have that before, so I've been, uh, well, I've been relaxing a little bit on the fishing side because uh, I wanted to have this boost before I tried to get this last part and now we have it so we have the mutation boost and basically what it means if you're not familiar with this system you basically need you see all these kinds of fishes you have the ones that is in smugglers bay and you also have the one that is inside the special fishing area if you don't know about the special fishing area, you can watch a separate video that I have in my library covering that. But basically, every single fish, you need to have all the sizes of a regular fish. So once you have had that, then you are ready to claim this first boost, the mutation boost. So you have 10 different fishes here, and you have 5 sizes from each fish. Once you have these, that means that you have 50 regular fishes, as you can see here, then you get the mutation boost. And once you have the mutation boost, then it starts to count up with all the sizes of fish for any three mutations. So basically, if we go into the same gray snapper here. So basically, what I need is all the sizes of any three mutations. It can be any colors, basically. It can be epic low, it can be uncommon, it can be common. Just all the sizes of three different colors. And you need to have that on every single fish. And once you have had that, then you can claim the USS Storm, this index reward. And this is the one that we're going to talk about in this episode. Okay, so I have it also already. Just for showcase only. I'm going to work hard on getting these items myself. But this is just for the video. I know I get a lot of questions about this. Can you please show uh, this index item that you had in a video earlier? But these items are items that I only borrow. So I can be able to show you all. USS Storm. Cannon wielding battleship saves the day. Blasting sharks away. It has a maximum health of up to 3000. It has a top speed of up to 100. We're gonna of course upgrade all this. So we go into customize. We're just gonna jump directly to a full upgrade. And here we have it. Health 3000. Speed 100. You have the customization options. We have the light, so if you can customize the light on boats, it usually means that we have a custom color on the actual light that uh, that will be emitted on the water. But uh, we can... Uh, <laughs> I wonder if you're gonna design something ugly again. I'm expert in making ugly designs. So we can have orange light detailing. I guess that's... Uh, oh, it's not gonna be the railing, is it? I'm gonna try. Put some green color to it. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice. Uh, we have the sail. Clearly up here. Windows. Got some red horrible windows. Maybe should have some transparent colors on those. We will see how that works actually. That's going to be interesting to see. Primary color. And the secondary color. We can actually leave it as it is. Because it's, I think it's ugly enough. <laughs> All right. Okay. So let's try it out. We're going to spawn the boat. That's not the boat. <laughs> so we try it again. Let's spawn the boat. There we go. The USS Storm. Wow. <laughs> okay. So I think actually the windows is no longer transparent. Uh, I think the default color makes them transparent. So I think we're going to stay with transparent colors. We're going to reset the windows. Okay. New attempt. So, with the default colors and, uh, yeah, pretty big ship, so I couldn't jump up on it. <laughs> but uh, now we have transparent windows, so that's uh, what you get with the default colors. Otherwise, I think you need to have ghost colors, which is uh, a game pass. Here we have the boat, or the ship, I should say. Very, very cool ship. We can uh, do a free camera of it, of course. So, let's see. Here is the free camera. A lot of different details on this big ship. For some reason it ha also has sails. Which, <laughs> which is an interesting combo. But you have internal stairs. And uh, many different platforms. 
You can of course take passengers. There are seats or positions along the railing. I think there are six positions actually. We can find out. So there are no seat positions up here anywhere. The only seat positions that you have is uh, here on the side of the railing. You have three on the left side and you have three on the right side. You have nothing back here. So, uh, oh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, if you fall down, it's a little bit difficult to actually jump up on it, but uh, it's doable. And also you can grab the railing here on the side if you want to board one of these ships. Otherwise you might just end up jumping down here, trying to get up and uh, that's not al always that easy. But of course, what about the specialty? <laughs> we have cannons, right? So can we use it? And yes, we actually can use them. Uh, they will be used automatically actually. And we're gonna see how it behaves and how we can use this to our own advantage because this ship is very, very unique. So we're gonna go and uh, let's start find some sharks. We can have the... Oh, it has already found something before I even saw it. So, as you can see, we have registered a hit. Both cannons are firing. And, uh, well, soon we have down the first shark, I believe. <laughs> so, it's following us right now. So, it can miss, apparently. And, uh, yeah, we also have a neon shark here. That's nice. Uh... As you can see, the turret can operate independently of each other. So if you have multiple targets, they can aim on different targets, which is just awesome. And uh, actually, you can fish while you are hunting for the first time, which is pretty crazy, actually. So this reward is, well, it's just unique and one of a kind. <laughs> I, I really love this one. And... Uh, it's something that I will work hard on to get myself because I see a lot of value in this boat. It's a great reward. As you also can see, it doesn't give you any extra loot or anything like that. So each shark that I kill gives three loot, which is the normal count. So it's not like a jaded or a sunburst spear, which gives additional loot. It hit the target for 100 experience, which is, I think it's just perfect balance because it shouldn't be stronger even though the cannons are really really big uh, it shouldn't be totally unbalanced because that's uh, most likely wh what you're gonna end up with if you start to hunt orcas and do too much damage but uh, yeah, as you can see I don't really need to see the targets I can do some fishing <laughs> while I do hunting right now uh, combining the two which is great but we're also going to go and check for orcas. Uh, these cannons, they see targets everywhere. <laughs> so let's go find some orcas. We of course going to go and see if we can go and do movie wood also. Because hey, why not? That would be really, really cool. We're going to see if we can fight movie wood with this boat. And if this uh, automatic turret system or cannon system uh, works against movie as well. But we need to get ourselves a Mubi Wood Key first. Question is, should I try to get the Mubi Wood Key using these cannons only? That would be something. Yeah, maybe we can. Yes, and here we have it. I have a Mubi Wood Key. The first key that I have ever been getting using this ship. Fantastic. Uh, we're gonna go and spawn Mubi Wood, of course, and see what that's gonna feel like. Uh, if we can evade the attacks. If we can do a full battle with this boat against Mubi Wood. Okay, so let's see. Here we go. Mubi Wood, where are you? I'm gonna start by using the cannons. Just to see that we can hit Mubi Wood with these cannons. Oh, I didn't see him. <laughs> okay. I'm used to see the health bar. Uh, can't see the health bar. That's weird. Where did Mubi go? Whoa! <laughs> what was that all about? Come on, Mubi! Oh, it destroyed my boat. It didn't like the boat. Why? That's not okay. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna try it again, of course. Mubi should be still out there somewhere. So let's go grab a new boat. 
<laughs> so, so the ship has found something else to shoot while I'm trying to get back to Mubi. I can't even hear Mubi Wood. I wonder what, <laughs> what, what he's up to. Oh, there he is. Doesn't seem like the cannons are working against Mubi Wood. Can't even see the health bar. That's weird. Maybe something is r wrong with Mubi right now. Okay. It... it <laughs> <laughs> it's not maybe as intended. So I hit Mubi. Still can't see the health bar. Yeah, Mubi clearly doesn't like the boat. I like the boat, however. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think uh, I think we're not gonna do any more Mubi wood attempts. Can I get back to the boat? No. So the boat is destroyed. All right. So maybe as for now, Mubi Wood is not a good option. <laughs> I don't know. It requires some more testing, of course. But uh, regardless, we're going to go over to Ocean 2. Because we need to try these cannons against Armored Sharks and Piranhas. You know, Piranhas was introduced. Now, it's not the Piranha that we can see over at the ancient shores it's not the ones that you fish for so there's a new sea creature now out uh, out there also it spawns when you get the new epic container so if you get an epic container over at ocean 2 then you get piranhas which is brand new we're gonna see if we can shoot piranhas with these cannons and of course the armored sharks because they do require the, these uh, you know access and uh, uh, pretty expensive access and here we are in Timeless Tides and Ocean number 2. Now we just need to wait for an epic container to spawn. Because currently sea creatures isn't working. So there's really nothing here to kill. And uh, this goes for all public servers as of this test. But if an epic container spawns. Well then we get at least some armored shark and some piranha that we can kill. And we're going to try, of course, to kill it only with these cannons. Because, well, the video is all about this boat. Okay, so finally we have something that has spawned. Let's see. Let's check the tracker. So we have something that has spawned on the other side of the island. We're going to go and see if we can get lucky and get a few hits on whatever that spawns. Because uh, no other sea creatures are currently spawning. And we have something that was firing. So, do we get any hits? No, we don't. Yes, we hit something. We're gonna see what we have hit when we are done with this. Just wanna know if we can hit piranhas. So we have piranhas over there. <laughs> Someone is being chased. That's tough. So let's see if we can save someone. Maybe, maybe not. Let's drive away. So if uh, sea creatures are too close, then it won't fire anything. So we have some kind of loot over there. Is it the uh, piranha? Maybe. I really don't know what it is. Could be a, an armored shark. Let's see. So, yeah, that was an armored shark. Question is, does it hit the, the piranhas? It does fire on it. But I don't get any hits registered. Because, yeah, the hitbox on the piranhas are very small. So, there's a piranha right here behind me. And uh, doesn't seem to be able to hit it. It's very fast. Oh, it did hit. Yeah, so we got a hit on the piranha. Two hits. So it can hit, but it's really a tough target. I just want to jump down <laughs> and kill it. But uh, this is just for the boat test and nothing else. I don't really know where the piranha is, but the cannon seems to see it. It's somewhere, I think it's circling around this boat by uh, looking at the cannons. Oh, okay, so it's underneath me right now. So the question is, yeah, so if I go like in a straight line and not circle... Uh, then it seems to be hitting targets better. And apparently it makes a lot of noise. <laughs> and our player is complaining about the sound. So apparently you can hear it like everywhere. Yeah, got a hit. 
Ah, okay, so the piranha is upset. It's underneath me. Yeah, so again, in a straight line, then it works better to hit piranhas. <laughs> All right, so there you have it. The cannons in Ocean 2, Timeless Tides, it does shoot and kill armored sharks and it does shoot and kills the piranhas. Oh yeah, and I did find additional two seats on the boat, so you can actually stand up here also on the sides. Uh, I didn't see them at first, so it's not only three on this side and three on the other side, so it's uh, two up here also. Uh, I tried to find if there was any more, but... Uh, can't seem to see anything like that so that's just a little bit of a correction from my side all right <laughs> so what do i think about this boat well first of all it does have two cannons so that's a win directly <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah it auto aims it auto hunts uh, it sees probably the target uh, way before you do so that's also very very good you can fish and hunt at the same time that's just unique that's something that you have never been able to do before so i i love that it's not easy to get it it does require some dedication of course and i think that's good because it's the kind of boat that you don't want to see everywhere in the game so it should require a little bit of effort and uh, yeah, as an index item, that's just perfect. And it is, after all, the biggest drivable boat in the game. So that's also something that I love. The downside is that it's big, so it's a little bit slow. But uh, it's perfectly fine because that's something it, ha it just has to be like that. And uh, also, if you <laughs> try to save someone, it's pretty hard to get up on the boat. It does require some jumping and a little bit of luck. And as far as I also can see, the pets, if you have a pet that increases sea creature damage, it won't affect the damage on these cannons. So it doesn't matter what you use. But looking at this boat, yeah, I think it's, uh, well, for me, this boat is a must have. I must do this index item because, yeah, sure, I have it right now, but it's just for making the video. Uh, and, uh, this is something that I want to earn. I want to know that I have deserved it. So this one is definitely going to be on the to-do list for me. And uh, I have already started. So we're going to see how long it takes before I actually get it. And that's going to be a challenge probably for this summer. But uh, yes... In any case, that was all I had for you today. If you do have any questions and comments about this, please put them below. Like this video if you would like to see more content from Fishing Simulator. Please subscribe and yes, have a nice day. Bye everyone.